In this video, we'll be demonstrating the MyWay i1200 version 2. The version 2 is MyWay's newest series. Um, the version 2 now comes in a new box and it also has an LED display. The prior version had an LCD display and you can see MyWay delivers their product in a very colorful box showing the product very clearly and again on the rear of the box showing you each of the features that the balance offers so this is the i1200 again there is an i500 which is very similar except it's 500 grams by a tenth of a gram this is 1200 grams by a tenth of a gram so you'll see the balance has a nice large stainless steel platform that is removable the platform even has on the side it has these little divots here for your thumb so my way has thought of everything when they design this scale and again this is version 2 on version 2 They've changed the platform, so now you have a stainless steel platform with rounded edges. So if you were to have a spill, it would roll right off the platform itself. Um, the balance is simple to use and operates off of SITS AA batteries. The batteries do not come with a unit or it is operated by AC adapter. So you'll see the AC adapter port here. And my way includes an AC adapter with the i1200. So a very simple design. The only optional feature or only option available that we carry is the calibration weight. And we do recommend you buy the cal weight the cow weight required is a one kilogram mass. So we want to try to show you some of the performance. So we're going to put on an aluminum dish and then we're going to tear the weight of the dish. So the dish right now weighs two and a half grams. If we press the Z key, that tears it out. And then we'll just add slowly to give you an idea of the response time of the balance. We'll add some more salt. And right now we have it in grams. So it's showing 11 grams. And if we wanted to, we could tear out that by pressing the Z key. And again, we could add more. And now you can see how quick the display responds. And this is a real nice affordable scale for especially the educational market. So to tear the balance, since we remove the pan, we just simply press the Z key to tear it out. Um, to go over calibration, we can talk about how to calibrate the balance. It's pretty simple, but let's just cover again. We have a 5.8 by 5.8 um, stainless steel removable platform. We do have a weigh meter in the lower left-hand corner. So, in the lower corner, you can see as we add capacity that weigh meter increases and if we and if we put too much weight on altogether we're going to get an error ER-0 which stands for overload so we're going to go through um, how to actually calibrate the balance which is uh, calibrate the scale which is pretty simple to cover calibration what you want to do is you want to shut off your scale altogether. You want to press the M key, the M key first, and then you want to press the on key, and then release. And you'll see the display says Cal, and then it has a random number. This random number is from the A to D converter, and we see it's like 22,070. Once we have stable at the top left-hand corner of the display, once you have the STAB, that's the stability reading, 
what you want to do is you want to um, press the M key. And so when you press the M key, it actually stores that value with no weight in the A to D converter, and now it's flashing a thousand. So we put on a 1,000 gram weight, and again, the 1,000 gram weight does not come with a scale. It is an optional accessory. No different than if you bought, we'll say, an Aho Scout and you bought the SP2001, it's an optional accessory. If you bought A&D's EJ1500, the cow weight is an optional accessory. So once we have a thousand flashing and we have our weight on the platform, we do have the STAB stability indicator illuminated in the upper left hand corner. We want to press the M key again. You'll see the display goes to all dashes. And then again, another number. This is the number off the A to D converter when a thousand grams is placed on the platform. One simply just shuts off the scale, removes the calibration weight, power up the scale again, and the scale has now been calibrated. Those new parameters have been stored. And if we place our 1,000 gram weight on the platform, we have 999.9. And again, this scale is plus or minus a tenth of a gram, so that's within spec. We can calibrate the scale again to bring it to a thousand, but that's close enough. Um, I want to show you the eccentric load in. So if I place the calibration weight in the corners of the platform, you'll see it is very precise. So that's how to calibrate the balance. Uh, to do way, uh, to change the weigh mode, this is 1,000 grams. If we wanted to change the weigh units, one simply presses the M key, and in the lower left, in the lower left hand corner, you'll see G. That's grams right now. If we press it once, that's going to give us ounces. So with ounces, it goes three decimal places. And let's see, is that point? Yeah. So it's 0 0.005 ounces. And in pounds, it looks like it goes by 0 .0002 pounds. Yeah, let's just make sure. Yeah, so it increments in 0 .002, just putting some slight weight on it to see it increment. And then in, let's see where, oh, I just teared that out. So let's take that off. Put our weight back on. And then in ounces, it's by 0 0.005 in increments in. Penny weight, it's 0.1 penny weight in increments in. Carrots, it's 0.5 carrots in increments. Grains, in increments in two grain increments. So that's two grain increments. Then we have piece count. So the scale has the ability to do parts counting. Um, we'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. So once we have it in the parts counting mode, PCS, we can tear out a container if we wanted to. So we'll put our weigh dish on the platform. We'll hit the Z key. And to, let's see, we'll end up this time, we'll... Uh, we want to count, we'll say, business cards. So I have counted out here in this stack 50 business cards. And we'll, my sample size will be 10. So we want to hit the P key, which is the piece. And you'll say, see, P is equal to 10. So our sample size is 10. We can press the P key again. Oops, I'm sorry. No. P is equal to 10. We can change the piece by pressing the M key to 20, 50, or 100. But again, we want to do 10. So we have P is equal to 10, and I'm going to put 10 business cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10. Once we have our sample of 10, we want to hit the P button. You'll see it says pass, and now it's stored the value. So if I take off one card, 9. I take off another card, 7. Another card, so that was 7. Okay, so now I've removed all the cards, and again, I counted these already. There's 50 cards here. And again, if I remove one card, 49. If I remove another card, 48. Remove another card, 47. Remove another card, 46. Another card, 45. So you can see the parts counting, how easy it is to use. Um, to go back into way mode, we just want to, we can remove the container, hit the Z key to zero it out. Press the M key, and the next mode would be grams, and so if I put on a thousand grams, we can see the scale displays the correct value. Um, again, my way is a great scale uh, value-wise. Uh, you can visit our website at balances.com and order these. We sell a lot of them to the educational marketplace. My way does come with a lifetime warranty through the manufacturer, so the warranty is through my way. Um, again, we just wanted to highlight some of the differences with the new my way, and again, this is the version two. We are Precision Way and Balances. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel or giving it a thumbs up. When you subscribe to our channel, any new videos that we post, you'll be emailed right away. Thanks for watching this video.